started this video off by saying nobody told me flies could be this irritating and nobody told me selfie sticks could be this cool and welcome back to the channel and we're going to review yet another product more of an overview really i'm going to take a quick look at the young ting tripod slash selfie stick do you have a use for a product like this in 2019 i don't know I can tell you this real quick, I've never used a selfie stick, and when I bought this thing on a whim, it was two and a half, three minutes, and I was completely ecstatic. It had opened up a whole new realm of what I could do, as opposed to being in this room at all times, I can now use a selfie stick to be out and about, because with my gimbal, it's just not going to really work with me doing the selfie mode deal. So, with a selfie stick, it allows me to do content in different locations so let's go over this real quick um, it's made of aluminium it extends out to 51 inches I'll show you that in a little bit it has a remote and it has a very flexible ergonomic head let me show you this is the phone holder it's hard plastic and it's gonna open up to accept pretty much all phones uh, I don't, I, it, it don't, should accept your iPhone 10, I don't know what the notes up to, Note 10, 11, 12, whatever it is. It's going to accept all of those phones. You're going to have a quarter inch, a quarter 20 hole at the bottom and in the back. So depending on how you want to mount this. We're going to mount it on the bottom today. And all you got to do to mount it is, uh, as opposed to spinning it, you just, just going to spin that knob. That's very thoughtful. Um, that is very thoughtful. They, they, I can appreciate the company for putting enough thought not to make me have to screw this thing in. And then it may possibly be crooked and have to deal with that. So that's one benefit. The head is going to be flexible. However you want to need it. And uh, you're going to have stops. I don't know if you hear that. But it actually has stops, so... It's not going to be smooth. You don't have to worry about it losing its position once you get it where you want it to be. And as I said, it's 51 inches. Throw it out like a fish, fishing rod here. And how long is 51 inches? That is 51 inches. More than I think you'll ever need for a selfie stick unless you've got a bunch of people you want to take a photo of or a video of. And, but it could come in handy whenever you're using it in tripod mode. You're going to notice there's a remote down here. And the remote, it's good. It works. Pull it out. You can see it sits in this rubberized kind of housing here. And it's secure. You don't have to worry about it falling out. It sits in there very secure. And I'm going to use my Note 5 because I'm filming with the iPhone 8. I'm going to open this up and you're going to have a camera button, a plus, and a subtract button. So with this is in selfie mode, using the front facing camera, press photo, it has activate. And it takes the photo. Press photo again, it takes another photo. And it's just telling me you can't zoom in or out, but it, it's definitely taking photos. So that's really going to come in handy. In selfie mode, whenever you're doing a blog or whatever you're doing, or a vlog, how would you say that, whatever it is, that's definitely going to come in handy. Here's the thing, though. Um, I've only been able to activate video with this once. And in all honesty, I don't even know how, how I did it. It just, on a fluke. It activated. I've been doing everything I can think of, and it won't activate video anymore on this. So I'm not going to say it won't work in activating video. I'm going to say I, just, I, I can't figure it out. I, just, <laughs> I cannot. Now, on the iPhone, it's a lot different. You know, on the iPhone, you just switch over to video. You click the camera button. It starts. You click it again. It stops. On the iPhone, this plus will zoom in. The negative will zoom out. But you're using digital zoom you just might want to consider that but uh, it works nevertheless and you see the remote in here and it's very secure now the on and off button is going to be here 
this remote has an internal battery. It's going to plug from a standard, not a USB-C, the older Android chargers. And what I don't like is that when you place it into the holder, you, have, you can access the on and off button, but the charging port, you have to pull it out to actually charge it. So that's just a little pet peeve that I, I noticed. It probably isn't a big deal for you. Uh, you know, and sometimes it's a little noisy. But when you're holding the handle, it's going to be good and secure. So you can easily hit your camera button. You can easily hit your plus, subtract button. It's very ergonomic. Now, yesterday, I used this as a tripod for the first time. And I'll try to post a, a photo of this thing standing up in tripod mode holding a phone. I recorded an entire wedding on my iPhone 8 Plus. And it was the perfect working height at 51 inches. So that's a big plus. To extend the tripod, you're just going to loosen this little knob here. Extend out the feet. Tighten it up and telescope it up as far as you're going to need. And it is very secure. Now, I'll, it's very secure when there's no wind blowing. If there's a wind blowing, it's a little wonky. Where I filmed the intro at, it got really windy on that bridge, and it, it just started to wobble over a little bit. So I got really worried because the higher you extend this out, the you know, center of gravity. But the lower you keep it, it, it seems to be fairly sturdy. So can you use a product like this? For me, yes, I can. If you're, I'm a photographer, I'm getting into videography, so I can use this to document what I'm about to do, content for the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll keep you posted on how this thing fares over time. This is the Young Ting slash tripod selfie stick. So, it's got rubberized feet, I should mention that. It does have rubberized feet. It's kind of a hard plastic, but it, it's, they're grippy. They're, they're grippy, and I don't see you have any problem with this. Anyway, this is just a quick overview of another product. This is I think this is great. I think this is awesome. Anybody wondering if this is a button? It is not. It's part of the mechanism that allows you to screw the head on. But uh, I think you can use this. If you blog or vlog, which everyone you do, this can definitely come in handy. This is a quality product. For the price, I would definitely buy this. I would buy this again, easily. If this one would ever break, I would just go back and buy another one because, it, I mean, for the price, it's absolutely awesome. And it's ergonomic, it works, and it becomes part of your workflow. So anyway, look at the young team, tripod slash selfie stick. Give them a chance, it's awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you.